You know what God is saying in verse number 15? It's not enough to be thankful in your heart. I want to hear you say it. I want to hear you say it. Are you glad tonight that you've been saved? Yes. By His amazing grace. God said, I want to hear you say it. Are you thankful tonight for your husband, your wife, your family? God said, I want you to tell me about it. Amen. I want to hear it. Are you thankful for your church? For your preacher? God said, I want to, I want to hear you say it. Are you glad tonight? Are you thankful? Are you thankful? Are you thankful that he's clothed you and that he's fed you all the days of your life. He's taken care of you. He's protected you. And you're here right now. God said, I want to hear you say it. Tell me. I want to hear it. I know you don't do this in Tennessee. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> but I'm from North Carolina. <laughs> I'm from Mount Airy, the real life neighbor. People ask me if I've lived there all my life. I always tell them, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know you guys would never do this. But, you know, there's been times I've told my wife, Linda, <clears throat> I love you. And if she doesn't say anything, I tell her again. <laughs> I love you. I told her that. Just to hear her say, I love you. Amen. Amen. I've told my kids, I love you. I've told my grandkids, I love you. And I mean it. But I sure love hearing him say, it. I love you too. Yes. Amen. I've been getting texts from my grandkids today. Papa, I love you. Bless it. Brian sent me a text. Papa, I love you. Do you think I ever get tired of hearing that? Mm -hmm. no, no. God wants to hear us say it. When's the last time you just opened up your heart and brought him that sacrifice of praise? And you've told him what he means to you. You thank him for his blessings, for his goodness on your life. The conversation of praise, it's the fruit of our lips. God wants to hear us say it. Amen. There's one more point. That I've been saving till now. I've talked about the channel of praise <clears throat> by him. I've talked about the cost of praise. Let us offer the sacrifice of praise. I've talked about the conversation of praise, which is the fruit of our lips. Giving thanks, giving thanks, giving thanks to his name. But there's one other thing we see in the verse, and that is the continuation of praise. By him, 
therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. What does it say in your Bible, Brother Mike? Continually. 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 What's it say in your Bible? Continually. Continually. What does it say in your Bible, Brother Jerry? Continually. Continually. I wonder what continually means. <laughs> continually. That means praising when you're on the mountain. Praising when you're in the valley. Praising when things are going good. And praising when your dreams just sift right through your fingers. Praising when help can strain you. Yeah. Praising when your help is gone. Praising when you're with your families. And even praising when you follow that loved one to the cemetery. Yes. Praising when the sun is shining <clears throat> bright. Mm -hmm. Rise up in the midnight hour to give him praise. Praise him when all is calm. And praise him when the winds are blowing and the storms are raging. Praise him continually. Yes. Mm -hmm. And right here is why. Brother Mike, I want to borrow you just a minute. <clears throat> Brother Ace, can I borrow you just for a second? I'm going to pretend that Brother AC is the father. Brother Mike is the son. So I bring my sacrifice of praise and I want to offer my praise to the Father, but I've got to do it through the Son. Amen. And so I come to give my praise to the Son. I bring my sacrifice. It's not a lamb, it's not a book, it's not a dove, it's my praise. I offer my praise and then my praise is offered to the Father, by Him, therefore, that's what it means. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. But what if I fail to give Him praise? What if I don't take the time to give Him praise? What if I'm feeling sorry for myself? Or what if I just simply take him for granted and I fail to give him praise? He has nothing to present to the Father on my behalf. If I'm not bringing my praise, His hands are empty. Thank you, fellas. I want to tell you something, church. God has been too good to me, and he's been too good to you. Yeah. Not to give him our praise. That's right. Amen. So true. When's the last time Jesus had something to offer on your behalf. You said, preacher, well, it's in my heart. Well, God said, I want to hear you say it. When's the last time, when's the last time Jesus was able to present your praise to his Father? Been too good to all of us Amen. for him to have to face the Father with the empty hands <clears throat> on our behalf. Could y'all come back and do that last song you did one more time? <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. And I want everybody to say. You want to get into his presence. 
you want to move into the holy of holy? <laughs> That's what God told Moses. I, I dwell with you. I dwell with you between the cherubim on the mercy seat, which was which was in the holy of holies. And everything about the tabernacle ultimately led to experiencing the presence of God. I want you to think about it tonight. And while they sing, I want to encourage you. You say, preacher, well, Tonight's just not the time. There is no wrong time Amen. to give God praise continually. I wonder how many of you tonight would just like to come and just flood him with your praise, with your thanksgiving with your love, with your appreciation for all that he's done in your life. While they sing this song, you just obey God and let him have his way in your heart. I beg you, let him have his way while they sing. As the world looks upon me, as I
brothers are coming to see him. And his brothers at that time, they were all living for God. And they had nice houses and wonderful family. His brothers came to see him. He said, Satan jumped on his shoulder and said, You'll never have a nice family. You'll never have a home. You'll never come out to anything. And then he said, God saved his soul. God bless him with a wife. Bless him with children. Bless him with a home. Bless him with a house. James is still going strong. I'm close to 90 years old. I want everybody to sing that last verse one more time. It's just everybody join in on the chorus. And just let this be our prayer to him tonight while they sing. Now I know.
Thank you all so much for being here tonight. Yes, Go out and tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. You know, I, I say Sunday, it just takes one willing worker Amen. to turn a city upside down for God. Amen. Get on the phone. Invite your friends. Let's fill this house up tomorrow night. That God would get the glory. Amen. 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 And we can praise him for it. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Brother Jerry, would you just miss us in prayer tonight? Father, there's just times we don't want to leave. <laughs> I could wait until the sun would come up on a new day and not begin to tell you the depth of the blessing that you showered upon my life. <laughs> Thank you for my family. Thank you for my church. Thank you for my calling. Thank you yeah. for life. Yeah. Thank you for saving my soul in the year 13, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you for sending Greg Edwards to preach a message. Yes, to remind us of where we ought to be, Amen. what we yes. ought to be doing, and how awesome we ought to be. May we awaken to a new day with praise on our lips. Oh, Sacrifice of praise to one who richly deserves it Amen. and rightfully deserves it. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you for this night. Thank you for having us. Thank you for all this people. Bless Brother Craig in the days to come in his word for you. You can be the honor and praise for it all. We love you tonight, Lord. We praise you.
I gave that to him. Pardon me? That one. That one. That ring. Okay. 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 Thank you. 